Hey guys, let me walk you through how to find uh, images either on pickrepo.com or using a structured Google search. So first thing, to do this asynchronous assignment, you want to find the assignment under Google Classroom. It's under the topic Gazing Inward, and the assignment is called Finding Meaningful Images. When you click on that, you can read through these directions over here. This Google slide, when you click on it, it should uh, give you a copy of these same slides, okay? And this is the template that I want you to work with. And uh, whatever you read or see in here, these are my personal examples that I shared a little bit about uh, with you in class. Uh, essentially, there's an image on the right side, as well as the, the thing that I hope for, struggle with, or cherish and a little explanation of how this image on the right represents what I hope for, struggle with, or cherish, okay? So step number one is to open this up for yourself, and just in case it does not, for some reason, make a copy for you, you can make a copy of this by going to File, Make a Copy, Entire Presentation, rename it with your name in the front of it, press OK, and this should be ready to work for you. Okay, so the what I'd like for you to do is identify something that you hope for, something that you tr struggle with, and something that you cherish, and then replace the text in here with uh, whatever it is that is relevant to you. Okay, so to walk you through, let's say, um, let's see, something that I also struggle with is my weight. Okay. So I would type in weight over here. And then this is just the placeholder text now. And then I'll just leave that alone. Right over here, I'd replace this with my first and last name. And then I need to find an image for myself that could represent the fact, uh, what I struggle with in terms of uh, my physical weight. What I highly recommend is this website called pickrepo.com. P-I-K-R-E-P-O dot com. This is a great website to get royalty-free images. Now, this is where you want to think for yourself, what can, what keyword can I type in here that uh, where I might find something interesting to represent that uh, particular thing I want to struggle with? So when I think about struggling with weight, I think about numbers on a scale. So I'm typing in scale there. Let's see what we end up with. So these are professional quality photographs, okay? And you can kind of look over here and see which one of these images might speak to you, okay? We have a food scale over here. I'm not really seeing a whole lot, so I might want to switch up my, uh, my keywords, okay? Uh, let's see, body weight. Let's try body weight see if there's something there. I see some weights. I see the same image over here. That's pretty okay. I do like the kind of numbers on that scale. <laughs> this is actually, these, these are a little more like fitness inspiration, <laughs> like people doing squats and stuff. So it's going to take a few tries. Okay. Uh, let's see. I might type in weight scale, see if that gives me anything different. All right. A little closer to that. Now this, this over here, what I'm mousing over, that is something compelling for me. It's a close-up shot with, it's the same numbers on a scale, but I like the fact that it's close up and because it can, it's ambiguous. It can represent uh, weight, right, in, in kilograms in this case, or, or stones, I see, or it, I can also see it representing time because that's, Really, it's, it can represent any kind of like measure that's sort of stressful to think about, okay? If you find an image that speaks to you, you want to click on it, and then you'll see this download original photo button here, okay? Click on that. It might take a moment for it to load because these are high-quality photos. And what you want to do is find a place in your local computer where you can easily find this, uh, this image again because we're going to use it. I'm going to name it to something memorable, like I'm going to call it scale. And for now, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay. Now 
you can click on this little button over here, click Show in Folder, and then you'll be able to see whether or not it downloaded right there. Okay, so great, I got it on my computer now. Now comes the time for us to plug that in to the um, to, to the template over here. So I'm going to replace this image with the one that I found that's relevant to what I struggle with. Okay, so navigating to my window over here, and you can just drag and drop that image you downloaded and put it right over here, over that, and you can delete this image on the, on the left. And then last step is going to be for you to replace this placeholder text with uh, a description of how this image represents what you might struggle with or what you might hope for or cherish, okay? You can use the same format. So this image of, instead of a man sitting alone, this is an image of a scale, okay? Represents what I struggle with because it, and then here's where you can fill in your own description, your own explanation of how this image connects with or represents the thing that you're describing over here, okay? So I might type in this image of a scale represents what I struggle with in terms of my weight because it's difficult. It, it, it reminds me of how difficult it is to um, stay positive when stepping on the scale in the morning, you know? I think that's a measure, it's a number, but you know what? Uh, sometimes it's kind of discouraging in terms of the number that, that it feeds back out. And I can also say something about how, you know, being measured in certain ways can cause a, a sort of stress, right? It's not just about the, the weight sometimes. Anyway, that's how you can walk through uh, the process of using this template. You want to be replacing the image with one of your own. You know, replace the, the text with, with text that's relevant to you, okay? And that's how you go about this. All right, guys. Good luck with this. I'll see you next time in class.